Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This is a mock tutorial. I haven't done one of these in a while. We're out in the garage today with the Battle of Crate. Such an incredible build. Today I'm going to be showing you my 15 tips for larger scale mocks such as Crate. Now some of these tips may seem obvious or not very helpful to some people, while other people might find them useful. So stick around, I'm sure there's something for everyone here. Let's get into it. So this first tip is a pretty simple one, but in the long run, it caused quite a lot of problems for Stop Motion Genius and I, and that is make sure you have space for your mock and that you don't have to move it. Now this mock started out in my room for week one, and then I moved it out here. Now when you have such a large scale mock, it's going to be really hard to move unless you plan on making it for brick fair or something where it will come apart easily. And if it's a large scale mock, you shouldn't need to move it, so you're going to need to find a permanent location to work on building. Number two, this kind of goes with number one, but planning. Honestly, lots of time outside of building in this garage was spent on planning. Now, some of the ideas that happened while building this were, yes, spontaneous, but most of what we did was planned and it took weeks to plan ideas. Without planning, this wouldn't have looked as good because we needed lots of time to figure out how we were going to make things work, especially with the number of pieces available to us. Number three, we're going to be talking about filler pieces for a moment. And what I mean by filler pieces, I mean pieces that you don't usually use in a mock. I mean like blue pieces or yellow pieces, pieces that you don't see in mocks like this. The main colors in this mock are light and dark bluish gray, white, and red. Those are the main colors we use. But we have this bag. It's full of miscellaneous parts. Some parts we use, some parts we don't use. Now, filler pieces are really important for mocks because the whole interior of the salt is random colors because we needed to lift it up a few blocks from the ground. Having filler pieces available is really important and I would strongly recommend using them to fill in places in your mock because if you use pieces you need, you might not have enough later and you won't want to tear up your mock. Now, number four, again this kind of goes along with the one before it, but make sure you have what you need to build. Now when we started this mock, I thought that I'd have enough pieces to build, but as we expanded it, I needed more white. I went to brick some minifigs, bought some white, and it was all good. In a situation where you won't be able to buy more pieces or you don't have access to more pieces, you need to make sure you have everything you need before you get started on a big project. Minifigs are important too because I think the way that you display your mock with minifigs and vehicles is just as important as the builds. Number five, don't settle for less. And what I mean by that is don't cut corners in your project. On the rock work here, I tried to cut corners the first time. I didn't use any interior pieces to hold everything together and lo and behold, a week later, half the wall fell over. I had to go back and completely redo it. So don't settle for less because on large scale mocks, problems that can occur are usually bigger because the mock is usually bigger. That makes sense to me at least. Number six, I have to use two hands now, changing minifigs and vehicles. Giant mocks are cool and all, but they're a lot more fun when you have custom vehicles and minifigs. In this mock, every vehicle that's based on a Lego set or is a Lego set has been changed just a little bit or a lot, except for Kylo Ren Shuttle, which is because we were out of pieces at that point. But changing around minifigs and vehicles really brings out your own ideas in the mock, and it's a lot more fun to see how people create their own minifigs and vehicles than looking at a set that everyone has seen before. Stop Motion Genius did a great job customizing Rebels in the Trench, and his 4VXD speeders look really great because they're his own custom design. Now, number seven, kind of leading into this when I was talking about the crate speeders in the trench, make this mock your own. If you're making a mock based off a movie scene, of course look at pictures. I like mocks that are more accurate to the scene, but obviously, LEGO can't directly replicate what Star Wars or whatever thing you're doing shows. I really like seeing how people make mocks their own design and kind of their own style. Lots of people out there have a specific style and if you see one of their mocks you know immediately who built it. Number eight, stay organized. One issue I had is I kept thinking I was out of pieces and then later I'd find a bucket under my bed full of the pieces I needed. So before you start a mock, I'd make sure all the pieces you think you're going to need are in order because they're really going to help you out later when you could have lost them and you end up buying pieces you don't need. 
A lot of times we ended up changing things that could have looked different just because we didn't have the right piece. Now, in some cases, the pieces were lost and I found them later and wished I could have changed it. And then in some cases, I didn't really have the piece and the way we did it was the only way we could. But in the cases where we could have had the right pieces, you can be prepared for that. And you wouldn't have to change things up from the way that you originally wanted it to look. Now, this is more of a niche thing, but let's talk about buying parts for just a moment. In every large mock, there is a possibility that you will be buying something, whether it be parts, custom vehicles, minifigs. Here's a quick little guide that I can give you guys since I bought some stuff for this mock. Now, if you're looking for vehicles or random parts, I definitely head over to Bricks and Minifigs because they have already built vehicles for way less than retail price. They just may be missing a few pieces and or not have all the minifigs and their brick bulk prices are unmatched anywhere. Now, if you're looking for specific pieces, lego.com or Bricklink is good. I made a short video explaining how lego.com sells cheaper pieces because the shipping is from one person, where on Bricklink you're buying from multiple sellers most of the time. So knowing where to buy the best thing for your mock is very important. The top three places to buy from are Bricks and Minifigs, lego.com, and Bricklink. I trust those three the most, and I think you'll get the best deals. Next, choose your scale. One thing about this mock that isn't exactly the way I like it is the scale. Now, a lot of things in this mock are not quite to scale, and that's fine, but it definitely shows when the TIE Fighter is as big as Kylo Ren shuttle and the walker is small in comparison to the shuttle. Little things like that don't make a huge deal, but for the builder, you can definitely see them. And now what I mean by choose your scale, there's minifig scale, there's micro scale, I'd say try to choose a scale and stick to it because that will make your mock look a lot more accurate if everything is the same scale. Next, we have lights and moving parts. This isn't exactly a tip, it's just kind of a suggestion if you want to spice up your mock. All big mocks, in my opinion, look great, but the best way to spice them up are with some moving parts and light bricks. I do have the Millennium Falcon on the little track that moves. I was going to put in some lights, but I never got around to doing that. And one big thing with this tip is Make sure to commit to doing it or not because the eight little rooms we built on the side of the wall were supposed to be lit in the interior, which is why they're dark unless I shine my lights on them. Now we abandoned that because I didn't want to spend more money on lights, so make sure you either commit to doing those things or not because moving parts take up a lot of room in the mock with Technic elements and other brick building. Lights also take up lots of room because you have all the wires, and if you abandon a lights project, you may be leaving a room especially dark. For the next tip, this is kind of a thing that I think people worry about, and that's using clear pieces to show flight in LEGO mocks. Lots of people try to hide using clear pieces to make everything look a lot more realistic, and I say don't worry about it. Clear pieces are used in most large-scale mocks to show flying elements, and I think it looks fine. And I wouldn't worry much about trying to make everything look like it's actually floating, because with LEGO that's just extremely hard to do. You end up wasting more time and space trying to make things look like it's actually floating when you could just use clear pieces and it would still look fine. Now this next tip is kind of a big deal when you're starting your mock, and that is to choose whether you're going to use brick building to start or base plates. In this mock we use base plates, but some other people prefer brick building. And the main difference is a base plate is a set diameter of bricks. And brick building, you can make any kind of shape you want straight from the base because you can shape it any way you want. If you're building a large battle scene like this, I might use base plates just so that I can mold around it if needed to. If you're doing a smaller mock, maybe a large mock that goes up more, I'd recommend brick building because then you can shape it exactly how you want from the bottom of the build. The second to last tip here is manipulating the way people see the mock. And now, manipulation immediately makes you think of a bad thing, but I think in this case, you can use it to your advantage, but not in a negative way. A lot of big mocks have huge interior spaces that you would imagine are filled with colored bricks to hold the outside structure together. Now, here's a secret. People don't always just use random Lego colored pieces to fill the interior of areas that are not seen in the final product. And basically what I'm saying here is to make the mock work, do what you have to do. Some people put Duplo inside of their mocks to hold it up. Some people might even use a piece of wood or something to hold up inside of the mock. Now, when you present your mock on YouTube, you have control of where the camera points. You have bits you don't want to show, don't show them. It's not like you have to show every bit of your mock. It's your own creation. You show it the way you want to show it. If you have parts that are holding things together that don't look good, 
just don't show it. It's pretty simple. Personally, I didn't use any Duplo in this building because I ended up having enough pieces. But if I was building a bigger rock structure over here, I might consider switching out some colored elements for Duplo or wood just so I could save pieces. You guys wouldn't see it in my videos and the mock would still look just as good. Now this last tip is kind of the cliche dumb one, so I decided to save it for the end, and that is make sure you enjoy what you're building. After five months of building this, I enjoyed every second of it, and looking back, if I hadn't enjoyed every second of it, this thing would not be done right now, because I'd have no motivation to work on it, and I'd be working on it like I had to do it, not like I could do it. If you don't enjoy making what you're building, it's going to take a lot longer to complete, and it's not going to look as good, because you wouldn't have tried as hard to make it look the way that it will look in the end. Thanks for watching this mock tutorial. Hopefully some of these 15 tips help you out. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything you think I missed, anything you need clarification on, or anything you found helpful. Make sure to like and subscribe and you'll be seeing this thing and some more videos coming out pretty soon.